Now we will concern ourselves with installing a Packard. By and large, the Packard should sit somewhere inside the front standard of the camera. That is, number one, either directly attached to the inner framework where the bellows meets the wood frame on the inside of the front standard, or number two, in an adapter arrangement where an insert is made which fits into the lens holder area. In the case of a Deerdorf, the latter way, that is number two, makes the most sense. Now before I go any further, there are some who attach the Packard to the front of a lens. I think this is a completely counterintuitive idea and if you are really considering such it makes far more sense to spend a hundred dollars at a machine shop and simply have your barrel lens front adapted into an ILX shutter. Don't install a Packard on the front of a lens there are always two overriding concerns with installing a Packard on any camera and this will dictate how it is installed number one the total size of the Packard number two how the bulbs tubing is to leave the camera i.e. you can't have the tubing leave through the bellows the tubing needs to exit through wood. Therefore, there will probably need to be extra space between the outer edges of the Packard and about a half inch or ideally slightly larger, maybe nine sixteenths beyond to drive a hole through for the tubing. In this Rochester, the tubing goes directly from the packed air cylinder out through a hole and of the camera. So I have saved that half inch of space. The adapter is only as big as the outer edges of the Packard. To me, this makes the most sense in smaller cameras where space is an issue. Therefore, the Packard adapter must stick out. Again, it must stick out from the camera. Note the tubing then does not interfere with the lens adapter. I can still attach all kinds of lenses while not tampering with the tubing. You can buy the brass bushing that runs between one side of the wood and the other, that is to connect the tubing, from a number of sources. The most consistent source is through PackardShutter.com which is where the shutters are now made. Incidentally there are a number of different types of bushings to choose from. You will also find them from time to time on eBay. Likewise you can purchase the whole Packard Deerdorf adapter assembly on eBay that is less the Packard itself and the tubing which you just purchase separately. The assemblies are readily available and usually run around fifty dollars sometimes less. Of special note to Deerdorf users when you install a Packard assembly, you lose the extra front rise ability via the front standard screw. The mobility is blocked by the extension of the assembly into the depths of the front standard. Therefore, your front rise is limited to the traditional elevation of the whole standard via the set screws on the side of the camera. For most of us this is simply not much of an issue but I certainly want to make that known.